Let's carry on. Ugh. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Yes. Mm. Do you remember, Stanley? I do. Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Yay! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Yay! Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Oh. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Oh, for goodness sake with your restarts. Right. Come on. Alright, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Uh, it's so pretty. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. <gasps> destiny. Nope. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put yeah. it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Yeah. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit Swing of music right. to lighten the mood. Ah! <laughs> Wait, cut the music, go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. No, well. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay. Well, um... Whatever. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Yeah. Don't want to go in there. No, 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 no. But it tells us to. <gasps> we must follow the line. We must. Oh, no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you. Thank you, Line. Everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Stanley Parable Adventure Line. You know what, Stanley? Whoa. I say forget the Adventure Line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? So I'm wiping my screen again. Which direction? Oh, this direction, okay. Whoa, I've just spotted another blob. There we go. Now, yes. This is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. I want it to be about Whatever pirates and parrots. Story, I'm ready for it. Pirates and parrots. Pirates and parrots. Pirates. And parrots. Oh, and not no, this. You again. Stanley, <sighs> I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. Yeah. Lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Yeah, okay. I'll continue to exist without it. <laughs> Come on, pirates. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. 
From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. Let's go this way. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means Why can't I make a decision? The place where we're trying to go is left. This door that leads here, and that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask: Will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? No. Since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. No, it Another isn't. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. I want to go left. Oh, they lead to the same place. A confusion oh, engine. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're <sighs> telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight? Eight times? You've been playing the confusion ending That's for really sixteen how all minutes. This goes? It's all this is brilliant. Determined. So now, according to the schedule, I restart Find the bookstore. Again? Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing wall. Well, we're here. You consulted me. Why don't I get to decide? Oh, Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped. Does that mean? Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. <sighs> I guess now we just wait. Mm -hmm. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? No. I'm quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find okay. out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime. Hello. <laughs> Not cool game. Not cool. That. That cracked me up. <laughs> Don't do that. That is nasty. Okay, so the game's restarted. And then the race is oh. gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh my god. And the doors are there. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um, yes he did. Hello phone. Milby just went live. Thank you Twitch. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, how very luxurious. Executive bathroom. A off computer. The boss's office, which Stepping somewhat reminds me of. Office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two eight four five but of course Stanley couldn't possibly have known this what keypad oh yet incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck amazing Ooh. he stepped into the newly opened passageway
What's this way? Nothing. It's very dark. Hey. Okay, so we're we still playing the same ending? Okay. Loading. Another restart? Um, okay. Let's see. We're gonna deviate from the path, I think. Hello! Rubbish on my floor. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Now you're right. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Okay. That'd be nice. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No, nope, you're controlling my mind. Bye -bye. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yep. Hello. See, I'm not dead. See? See? I'm not dead. And if you dare restart the game, if you dare, you dare. Okay, see, not dead. Perfectly fine. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Not gonna die. Nope. See? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, Not killing die. him instantly. Nope. Ha <laughs> ha Such a genius. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. Nope. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Ooh. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Okay, so we got the main map there. Office computers. Okay, so these are all like just the things. Okay, this is just weird now. The credits. Oh, okay. Can I get a screenshot of this? I, I don't know. Thank you to all of you who made this game. It's fantastic. Maintenance room. So these just kind of all the things. Um, I thought that was a potato battery then. That would have been really funny. Uh, but it's not. So oh well. Let's continue. This is just a museum of just the things. What the fudge is this? It's a containment unit. Monitor room elevator. Uh oh, that doesn't look nice. That's why I want to go there. It's 
probably loads of spoilers I could do from here. Nice. Um, can I get out now? Can I finish? Can I go? Please? I want to go home. I want to go home. Uh, help me. Help me. What's this way? Okay, I haven't got there yet. Apparently there's a war zone. Okay. Narrator emails. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I want to escape. I want to leave. I want to go home. Exit. <laughs> Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Shut up. Do you see? <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Do you see sake. how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only no. true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Oops. <laughs> so, I, I died. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty snazzy. Well, um, I guess that's that then. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And, um, yeah, I keep saying rate, I mean like. And we are still looking for server applications, so the email's in the bottom below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you around. Peace!